Hey everyone, today I want to talk about the do's and don'ts and what we would have changed with our shed to house if we could have. As you can see, it's cold. It's like 30 degrees outside. We woke up, it's probably even colder than that. All our water was frozen that was outside. Luckily our pipes and all that are still good, which is a pro. But I turned off all the heat in here just to show how cold it could really get. We get asked all the time what we do for heat. We bought this electric fireplace. I don't remember exactly how much it was, like 500 bucks or something. It works great. It looks better than it really heats up, but it does put off enough heat that if I were to turn it on, you would see that go away. But we bought another heater to go with it to fill the room up and we can move it around wherever we need it, which was awesome. We also often get asked how big the TV is and how big the fireplace is. I think it's a 65 inch TV. The fireplace is, I believe, 45, 50 inches wide. They also want to know how we run the electric. And as you can tell on this side, we made a beam that sticks out a foot. And so behind it um, is an empty shell between this wall and this wall. And what we did, we put an outlet in the middle so we can hook up our TV and our fireplace in that and it works perfectly fine, no wires, and you know, you can have room to put the sound bar in there. Anything you need electrical is hidden behind the brick, brick wall. While we're talking about the TV, I just figured I would go ahead and answer the question. Everybody asks, why did you put your TV so high? Does it hurt your neck? Is it uncomfortable to watch? Do you regret it? No, it's awesome, look. Lean back, watch TV, perfectly fine. You can even sit over there and watch it perfectly fine. So that answers that. It's a pro, we love it. It's up out of the way. You get room for the fireplace, you get a mantle, and you get your TV. We like it. Next question. Flooring. Everybody asks what kind of flooring we had, why we chose it, what we decided to do, how we like it. I'm gonna answer that. First, we went with plywood flooring. It sucked. We ripped all the panels, we did all that. We stained it gray. It looked pretty good, I guess. And then we put clear coat on it and wasn't good. So, we bought this laminate flooring and we love it. We got it for a great deal. I would say just go with laminate first, it's cheap. The one regret I don't have about putting the plywood down first is it gave us a whole nother layer of like half inch plywood or something to help insulate it. But do we like this flooring, pro or con? Pro, it looks great, it was easy to install. The con would be if you track in mud, water, have kids, animals, and it's constantly getting wet, it will mess up. So you gotta be careful with that. But I like it. So I'm gonna say it's a pro. The next biggest question we have is about our dormer. Was it worth it? How much it cost? What's the pros and cons of having it? So I would say just right off the bat, yes, we love it, absolutely love it, wouldn't change it. The only thing I might change is the wood up there, which we might end up doing um, the ship black look, I guess, if you want to call it that, instead of more the rustic, but we don't know yet. I would say one of the biggest pros is it makes the room look huge. You get the, all the light up there, especially in the morning. Um, the sun rises on that side, so you get a nice golden tone in the whole house, which is awesome. You get 12-foot ceilings, which is amazing in our opinion, which is why we wanted it. We wanted we wanted this to feel like a house and not like a shed, so that's why we decided to go with that. I think it was about $1,200 to add that, and it's worth every penny. Now one of our biggest features, the kitchen. Everybody asks us about the kitchen because we didn't do it the conventional way. We don't have a stove, we don't have an oven, we have a toaster oven, but not an oven. And we get asked all the time, how do you cook? How do you do anything? And it's simple. Cooking this house is easy. We have a microwave that everybody uses in their house. Use this more than your own stove. Let's be honest. 
We've got a toaster oven, which works just as good as an oven. We've done anything from cakes, cupcakes, we baked the turkey, we've done chicken, we've done roast. We've done everything in there, and it's awesome. We don't regret it at all. It leaves us a bunch of counter space instead of having a huge stove here. You could always put it away, and then what about a burner? Easy. Look at this. Ten bucks from Walmart. One burner, you can buy as many as you need, it works fine. We've cooked everything we've ever needed with it. Now look how easy it is to get counter space. It's a way now, it's super easy. That's why we did it the way we did it. So I still think our kitchen is a pro. One thing we absolutely love about our kitchen that's a huge pro in our eyes, this island. It gives us extra counter space. You get to sit here to eat. We put our spices down here. We do most of our cutting on this whenever we cook. You have a little centerpiece. It makes the room look great. It fills in the area between the kitchen and the living room, which it looked really bare before we put it in. So we think having an island in your house when you already have limited counter space is a huge pro. Living in a small house, what about cabinet space? We have more than enough cabinet space. We have this huge area right here that we use as kind of a trash can and you leave your brooms and mop and all that stuff down the bottom. A little bit of a pantry up here. We normally buy groceries to last us, I don't know, five days at the most so we don't ever fill it up. We also have all this cabinet space down here. Down here we leave our pots and pans and everything, silverware, just some odds and ends in here. Other stuff in there, cleaning supplies, stuff like that. Plenty of counter space, huge pro. One of the biggest cons in our eyes for this whole house build was the walls. We started with sheet rock because we want it to be fire resistant. It's actually way better than you think when it comes to being fire resistant. We burned some and it took, I mean, forever to burn. And even at that point, it didn't even burn all the way through. So then we came back and we did fake shiplap, which is super thin plywood. As you can tell, just super thin. And that didn't look great. It was kind of warpy here and there. You have to put a million nails in it. You could glue it to the sheetrock, but that doesn't mean it's going to stay. Ours was decent compared to some that we've seen online, but it was just a huge pain in the butt and it wasn't the look we wanted. So then we went with the tongue and groove, which is way better. If I can give any advice on the walls, it's just go straight to tongue and groove. Don't deal with this fake shiplap. Don't deal with this sheetrock. It costs just as much to do sheetrock in this as it does the tongue and groove. So just go with tongue and groove. It looks amazing. It's easy. It's strong. Learn from our mistakes. So as I stated earlier, the fireplace, we absolutely love it. It just doesn't put off as much heat to fill up this room. It's about 400 square feet, 12 foot tall ceilings. It's a lot to heat up for one little heater so what we did was bought this guy which actually works amazing you could put it anywhere in the room as you can tell right now I just turned it on that's not heating up back there I don't have the heater on and it's 42 degrees inside this combo of these two we get this whole room pretty toasty it's pretty amazing you can move this little heater wherever you want in the room so if you're sitting over by the couch you could put it by you if you're in the kitchen, just put it over there. Most of the time we keep it right in the middle so it heats up the whole room and it's an amazing investment. I'm not sure how much Jared bought this for, but it's worth its weight in gold. So I would say our heat in this house is pro and a con. We were hoping the fireplace would be enough. It wasn't, so that was a con. But the pro was you can easily buy these space heaters and it made it perfectly fine. I'll talk about two pros and cons right here in the same spot and real quick. And that's, as you see, there's boots everywhere, it gets muddy. We want a mud room on the outside, build a deck, a little spot, like a box or something to put our boots and stuff in. Be way better, it's constantly tracking in dirt. Our floor mats are always dirty. It is what it is, that's a con. Another pro and a con is the AC unit. We absolutely love it right here. Everyone thinks it's gonna be too low. Um, it's not gonna cool down the room. It's perfectly fine. We haven't had an issue. We live in Texas and it cools this house down as good as we need to. The con is it doesn't have heat in it. We had one we, that we first bought. It had heat, but the air conditioner itself, it just didn't work. It wouldn't kick from cold to hot. For some reason, the heat and the AC both didn't work. 
So we returned it, this is all they had, we got it, it's fine, it's only AC, but again, it fills up the whole room, cold enough that we don't have a problem with it, and we live in Texas, it's not that bad to us. We also don't like it to be 60 degrees in our house, so that could be a con for you guys, but to us, it's great. Don't hesitate to put it in your wall like this. We have had no issues whatsoever. So let us know in the comment section what you'd like to see for the rest of the house, the pros and cons. So please like and subscribe to our channel. Please add us on Facebook, Instagram, all that good stuff. We enjoy these videos, we enjoy your feedback. We even enjoy the stupid comments we get that you're talking trash about our house. They're funny, we like to comment back, we will comment back. But for the most part, we absolutely love when people send us messages saying we inspire them. So please let us know what you'd like the next video to be about and any way that we've inspired you we think is absolutely amazing and crazy. But don't be scared, take the risk, do it, just jump in and go for it. And we hope nothing but the best for you guys.